17 days and counting. Politicians may have hoped that we have forgotten about the Morbi disaster, that it will be buried in our news coverage. But the big headline of the day is a near confession by the Morbi municipality that there were glaring lapses that led to the collapse of a suspension bridge in Morbi, Gujarat on October 30th. It killed over 135 people. After two days of scathing remarks by the Gujarat High Court, the Morbi civic body finally filed an affidavit in a sealed cover. The affidavit reveals that public access to the bridge was not allowed even on the day of the collapse. From December to March, the bridge was being used despite it being dilapidated. Even more glaring, it's now being revealed that the contract was given to Ajanta without a general meeting or even an MOU. So here are the glaring lapses that have now been revealed. Lapse 1. A contract was given to the Ajanta group without floating a tender in 2022. The second lapse. The Ajanta group continued to maintain the bridge without a contract for at least two years. Their MOU expires in 2017. And for two years, this company is maintaining this bridge without any paperwork. Lapse number three, the 2022 contract with the Ajanta Group is only a one and a half page document with few details in it. Lapse four, there is no reason, no logic, uh, nothing to explain why a watchmaking company was awarded a bridge maintenance contract. Why were they fit for it? That's a glaring on the part of the Morbi civic body which they haven't been able to explain. Even bigger laps. They keep saying that this bridge was opened up without any fitness certificate, without permissions. And what action did they take? Why was no action taken by the Morbi civic body when the bridge reopened without permissions? Remember, it was open for four days before it finally collapsed on October 30th. What were they doing for those four days? And all of these lapses have come to the fore from what the Gujarat High Court has said today. The High Court's remarks are very, very important. Over the last two days, for example, the High Court first said the municipality officials are trying to act smart. Today, they said they're acting casually because the deputy collector who is in charge of the Morbi municipality has not turned up to court. The explanation is that he's on election duty. Look at how closely and casually this civic body has been responding. They have also said, the court has also observed that the renovation agreement which was given to Ajanta is just one and a half pages. Why was this contract granted without any tender? And a big question that the court has asked today, why has the state government not superseded the municipality yet? This is the big question. Are they too busy? fighting elections to bother about what happened in Morbi? I think the most glaring and important question that the court has asked, how was the largesse of the state given without a tender? How was the largesse of the state given without a tender? What does that mean? The court's remarks asking about a largesse of the state point to a possible collusion. Is that why the big fish that means the people who gave this contract without due process are still out free. Is this why the CEO and the leaders, the business leaders of the Ajanta group, have still not been arrested? Is the Gujarat government so busy trying to win the next election that due action against Morbi civic authorities is still pending? To speak on all of this, I'm joined today by Sandeep Ghosh, author, Namit Saxena, advocate on record in the Supreme Court, Manasvi Thapar, lawyer and political analyst with us on the show, and Tessin Punawala, political analyst, also with us on the show. Welcome to all of you. Thank you for speaking with us today. Tessin, let me begin with your remarks on what has been revealed in court and how, and I find this astonishing, as there's more and more coverage of the Gujarat elections, people have very conveniently forgotten about Morbi. It's been left to the High Court to pull up the civic authorities and say, what are you doing? Isn't this pointing more and more to a bigger collusion when the court talks about a largesse granted by the state to this company? At the onset, Tamana, thank you so much for having me in the show. And I want to publicly uh, congratulate my friend Sandeep goes on his new assignment. And I do hope I can see him more on television now that he'll be once again 
busy in the corporate world. But let's come to the topic of the day. Uh, Tamanna, you're absolutely right. This completely shows state collusion. This shows state involvement. And I've been on record saying a couple of things. The Ajanta group, and I'm saying this on record, and you have advocates here. I am responsible for what I'm saying has been funding the Bharatiya Janata Party. If not, the Bharatiya Janata Party should put out its uh, do list of donors in public domain and say that they've never got fund funds from Ajanta Group. How else can one explain a watchmaking company getting a contract to make a bridge, uh, inaugurating the bridge without authorities and inaugurating a bridge without a fitness certificate? And till now, the owner of the company is not caught. Seven or eight low-lying officials have been caught. I mean, this is unacceptable. Even in a corporate structure, and since a lot of us are from the corporate, the director of the company Company is responsible. His name does not even figure in the FIR so far. What does this show you, Tamanna? This shows you life of the common man is as cheap as it comes. Whether it's Ram Rahim out there campaigning for the BJP, whether it is Bilkis Banu's rapists who are out, the fact is, or whether it is the Naradia, uh, the, the, the massacre uh, uh, convicted person campaigning for his wife, uh, daughter in Gujarat, the, the fact of the matter is life does not have value in India. And the mighty politicians, the mighty political parties, the rich political parties can get away, brazen it out, and not even respect the honorable courts. The high court is being taken for granted. Can you imagine in any country, in any civilized democratic country in the world, the court has summoned an official and the official has the guts not to turn up in, uh, in front of a court, in front of a high court and say he's on election because, duty. Is this because a banana he's on republic? election duty. He no, no, I want to, I want to understand. I want he to understand a bit. I, I want to understand a bit on process. By the government. Yeah, so, you know, I don't want to bandy about accusations like there was collusion on the basis of nothing. Talking today about what the court has said, the court has questioned largest. Sandeep Ghosh, I want to understand from you what kind of a process should be and will ordinarily be in place if a private company is getting a government contract like this. Is it even imaginable that for two years at least there is no paperwork? Maintenance was chal raha hai. MOU has expired in 2017. 2022 contract is 1.5 pages. There is no tender floated before that. What are the kind of regular procedures that seem to have been overlooked here? Samana, I hold no brief for Ajanta, and uh, neither am I trying to justify them. But you must understand the reality and the context. Morbi is a small place, and Ajanta practically owns the place. Okay, they are one of the biggest, you know, whether, uh, you know, they are the uh, 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 traditional industry, not just of uh, uh, watchmaking, they're into tile, uh, but, you know, those are the major industry. They're the supposedly the largest uh, watchmaker. So they kind of really own the place. So it's like in a small town, that kind of, so when you try to see this, it, with the prism of, uh, you know, how contracts are awarded in the normal course and in the small town, there is a bit of a, a difference. Okay, I'm not, just, again, I repeat, underscore that I'm not trying to just, uh, justify it. Okay. Sandeep, now, I'm, I'm therefore, afraid, Sandeep, I'm afraid. Shameful. But, Sandeep, but, said the, but the, the statement, I, I, I you know, maybe your, what you're quote describing quote is real. What you're describing uh, perhaps is a realistic, real situation. But it doesn't make it right, or we shouldn't I find any not, way to no, normalize no, it. We can't normalize it. No, no, not, it. no, no I'm not normalizing it, Tavanna. I'm just trying to place it in context. So when you ask questions like how a watchmaking company is given this contract, you've had um, several, uh, you know, somebody has got an aircraft contract who was, being, uh, you know, into something else, or, you know, you have uh, people getting airport contracts who are into bar making and all that. So that is not the context. You can be a conglomerate, you can have the expertise, or you can acquire the expertise to do it. But here, as you say, it's a very, very callous approach because it's everybody, you know, it's like uh, in a small town, so I just ask uh, the biggest man, it It is in that kind of spirit they have done it. And again, I repeat myself, I'm not justifying it. I'm just, just trying to put it in the context of how it has been done. And that is the problem, that we take these things so casually that take a bridge banana or bridge repair karna hai, to hamara... X, Y, Z, Devendra Bhaiyo, Jogi, Tessin Bhaiyo, Sandeep, one minute. I, I understand that 
that you're giving a contract May I have a response or... since you took my name? No, no, I, you, no, no, yes, I Kassir, I'll come to you. Is... One minute. As an example, I'll come to you. You can respond even, uh, you know, Manasvi wants to respond. But I just have one counter first to Sandeep Ghosh. It might be Morbi municipality. It might be the smallest place, the most far-flung yeah, place angry. on the map of India. Does Indian law process not extend there? Of course it extends. I'm just trying to put the context, you know, over there. How I'm not trying to justify it for even a second. I'm saying that is the problem in our uh, country. You know, you take these things for granted, and when there are uh, lives of hundreds of people which are involved, we are not taking these things seriously. And therefore, any intervention by court or any intervention by authorities is not only called for, it is absolutely essential so that people don't take these things in that way. You know, you've got several instances, we've had instances uh, since I come from the construction industry in uh, aluminium plants, power plants, when you've had a, um, a collapse, you've had collapses of building because of these kind of very casual awarding of contract, not doing the due diligence, not putting okay. these safeguards now, in now, place. Now, now, now you know, you've, actually, the, set, you've actually set, you've actually set the tone and set the stage for the next leg of <laughs> questions that need to be asked. And you're actually underlying the point we've made. If Ajanta Group, quote unquote, owned Morbi, and then they got this contract, did this largest come for free? Manasvi Thapar, isn't that the question? I, that the Morbi civic I, body granted this largest to a company that owns the place for free with no quid pro quo? I, I, I don't know. In a democracy, how can someone own a place? And no one is so big that 130 plus people die and you own that place. I am ashamed. While sitting here, if I have to hear this, that someone owns the place, that's why he has the guarantee. That's why he's given an opportunity to ruin 130 plus families. And you are okay with it. I am ashamed. How could this own Shabd could actually come out? You own that place? I really? Are we in that uh, Lala land or are we in that Banana Republic where we are saying that someone is so big, he's owning the people of this country, owning the people of Morbi, and you're risking the lives. You have made sure that 130 plus people have died because you own that place and that is your argument? No argument. I'm, I am it ashamed. Not an, While sitting I'm here, not I am ashamed. I am not giving that as an argument. I am that 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 argument. I'm that just setting the place. context. No, no, I am not no context, sir. It is shameful coming out from your mouth. You are a respected author. You are a respected person. I and that is your justification. Do... All right. Now go ahead. Right. One minute. One minute. Manasvi, Manasvi, since you've attacked his statement, once you've, since you've attacked his statement, let me allow Sandeep Ghosh to respond to you. Since you've asked I him, am... how can you say that? Let him respond to you. I am not at all saying that they uh, justifying it in any way, Manasvi. I am just trying to put in a context. Let's say there is a... I don't want to... Now that you are uh, trying to hold me to my words, there are cities which are dominated by a particular, let's say, an industrial house. Anything happens there, people will automatically go to them. I'm not saying that they ought to go to them. I'm saying that is the malaise of our situation. If pe kuch karna hai, whether it's a political party or a municipality, that is what I'm trying to say. If I don't want Tamanna, to again take, I... you know, no, let me Tamanna, complete. Let him, you know, let him are, say, Tamanna, let him Tamanna. speak and then you respond. Saying, Manasvi, let him speak and then you respond. There are places without taking uh, names, there are places which are named after, uh, you know, industrial houses. So those places, they are really running uh, the thing. So it is not because I'm not trying to justify it. That is our mindset, which has come that, you know, something is to be done for whether for public, this thing, kiska pa jai, first go to person is go to X. And, and they say, Thik hai, main kaam karwa dunga. whether I make watches or whether I make uh, uh, something else, hai, hum kisi ko bula ke, kisi contractor se wo kaam kar. that is what we need to question. 
And the real well, isn't that, owner's isn't, life... Aren't you defining crony capitalism? Uh, isn't Amana, that exactly what now? you're describing? I think it, uh, it's not crony capitalism. Tamana, not we, are, we are deviating. For, Tamana, for, no, no, Tamana. no, no, I'm, I, I, no I agree with you. It's not a crony capitalism here. The other examples which I gave you, if somebody is being given a contract for running an airport, running, uh, you know, making aircrafts, etc., you, you might say those are. Here, this guy's for him making this particular, uh, running this bridge is peanuts for him. But because he is part of the ecosystem... <laughs> Sandeep, is, Sandeep no, is it peanuts for the people who have died? Oh, no, I'm just, that, I'm just oh, shocked I'm today. One that. sec. I'm, no, I'm going to no, let... I'm not saying, I'm gonna, no, I'm I know not you're saying not saying that, that but... No, no, I'm saying that, Samadna, you see, this guy, if he's the largest watchmaker of the world, he doesn't even need to get into building a bridge. So, therefore, it is not a crony cap capitalism. He, for whatever reason, political or otherwise, he has tried to help okay. the municipal uh, politicians or the no, other. No, 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 this is a theory which has no basis, that the largest saying has come from Ajanta group, not from the state. The court is questioning the largest of the state. Your theory is that the largest is from the Ajanta group. Now, this is a theory which, as of now, as of today, has no basis. Quick response from Manasvi, yes. Now, now I don't think, I don't agree on whatever Sandeep said. My basic question remains very basic, which is that out of two crore, first of all, there was no charity done. They were the biggest of there, they owned the place, whatever you would have said. But they did, a two crore contract was given to them, they used only 12 lakh. And that's a shameful thing. And when it came to publicity, they were on the front page of all the social medias, all the medias, saying that we have inaugurated it. And before any kind of fitness certificates, before any kind of NOCs, before any kind of uh, permissions, they inaugurated it, they risked the life of people, and when in that bridge, while it was functional, Tamanna, this is very important that not more than 80 to 90 people were allowed to earn. They, they allowed Aray, 400 to 500 people. To Sandeep Ghosh and kere, inka raj chal raha tha morbi mein. And now, Tamanna, now coming tha. to the basics. So what the was the FIR, elected government doing there? What was the elected the, government doing? What was the civic authority doing? Raja they don't even care to raja turn hai. up. Correct. Yeah, Tessin. Tessin. Tessin made a point. Tessin made a point. Just One give second. me 30 seconds. Tessin made a point. Yeah. Tessin made a point. Wherein was, just yeah, because okay. they fund the party, they are not arrested. Isn't that a valid point? No, we don't point? know. That's we don't know if they point. fund the party. That's again no. a claim. All claims and speculations I will be questioned on this so show. Let BJP come out clean. You have to show me a Let BJP come out clean. Okay. Okay. Let, let no, BJP but you can't just throw a claim can and then say come out clean. I can back it up. Okay, yes, Tessin. I can back it up. I can back it up. Based on what, I stand by what I'm saying and what Manav... I'm telling you, I stand by what I'm saying because the fact of the matter is, are you telling me in Gujarat, which is supposed to be amongst the three or four most uh, progressive states in our country, economic-wise, we don't dispute that, or at least in the top six, are you telling me, A, that they found nobody but uh, but us gao ka bada mukhya ke wo kaam kar de? So are you telling me rule of law does not exist? Now, number two, if Ajanta has not funded the BGP, just two things and prove me wrong on this show, if the BGP people are walking in, let them WhatsApp you. Two things. Put the electoral uh, donors list out right now and I will apologize publicly on a show saying Ajanta hasn't, uh, hasn't no, no, uh, funded them. Two, why is the owner's name not way. on the FIR? One second. Why is the owner's name? I agree. Okay. But why is the owner's name not on the FIR? Now, if I see something wrong on your show, just, just 10 seconds more, I see something wrong on your show which is illegal or unconstitutional, you as an anchor will be pulled up. You will take responsibility for it. How come watchmen and clerk are arrested and on the FIR you don't have the name of the owner? If this is not, for lack of another term, in bed with the government of Gujarat, which has not sent its officer to the... Can you imagine another scenario, Tamanna, where the High Court has called you and you're challenging the majesty of the High Court and an officer is not coming up? One last thing. Who are these people investigating this? Two IS officers, one IPS officers. Who report to the government of Gujarat? Who was in bed with the Sajanta people? If not, why didn't they have a sitting judge of the High Court or a Supreme Court investigating this? They don't even turn up in court. If this is not substantial evidence, I don't know what is evidence to make my case. Tamanna, Namit Saxena. Same lobby. Namit Saxena. Tamanna, One Tamanna. minute. Let Namit Saxena. He's been listening to everyone patiently. Namit Saxena, thank you for your patience. I want you to come in on some of the points that have been made today. And I'm not bending about the collusion word 
simply. I'm talking about it in the context of the question that the court has asked and two important questions they've asked. One is, why has the state government not superseded this municipal corporation? And why the largesse of the state for Ajanta? These are very serious questions. Yes, they are. Regarding supersession of the of the civil body, see uh, section 260 of the Gujarat Municipality Act, it lays down a procedure which is to be followed. Without following the due process, they can't just come forward and say, okay, today we'll supersede the civic body. Otherwise, you know, the state government will come forward and supersede all civic bodies whimsically at any point of time in any state. You know, so there is a due process which is to be followed as well. Second, regarding uh, Mr. Poonawala's argument that you know that the state that the of the law officers did not reach the court on time. And the law officers have been, you know, uh, evading the process of court. That is not correct. See, in this, this, the, in a routine manner, this happens. You know, at times the advocates are not instructed properly, or the briefs don't reach them, or the notice is not served properly. There's a due process of court as well. Then you know, the, it has to be through the server. So at times it happens for a date or so. So it is not that you know that you can that you can blame advocates because of this, or you can blame civic bodies or any party before a court for that matter, just because you can't reach court on one particular day. So it is extremely important and it is extremely unfortunate also you know, the advocate should have been there. But nonetheless, that the advocate general is there, it apprised the court about that, etc. See, what we have to look forward today is the discussion should be rather, you know, what whatever self-goals Mr. Ghosh has done apart from it, it is important to understand what are the remedial actions. You know what? What? What is the way forward so that such Namit, incidents Namit, don't can happen? Can I ask you? No, no. We will. We will go forward looking. I'm sure you want to. But you know, you're talking about due process of the state government superseding a municipal corporation. I understand that. Where did due process go, sir? When awarding this contract, due process cannot be pick and choose, right? Due yes. process for some and not for others. Due process where the deputy collector has to go on election duty. The lawyers, it seems, are clueless. I don't know what's happening in this case. Police don't know the name of the owner of Ajanta, so they can't put it in the FIR. The municipal corporation doesn't understand how this watchmaking company will build a bridge. That's a total tender. Apparently, they go and open the bridge on their own for four days. Municipal corporation does nothing. They don't turn up in court. But due process must be followed elsewhere. See, so can you be morning. that opportunistic about due process? Even in awarding the tender to this particular corporate entity, whichever sister concern of Ajanta Group has taken this, you know, contract to, you know, to do maintenance work there. You know, if they have not followed, you see, what is the law? The law is if something is to be done in a particular manner, it has to be done in that particular manner alone or not done at all. If they have flouted this, if they have flouted, see, tender terms can be on various conditions. For example, a lot of tenders, even in government, even today, they are on first come, first serve basis. You know, although the Supreme Court says it has to be auction, etc., there has to be a process which, stop, which is to be followed. Now, we don't know yet. See, the, the High Court has indulged itself into a fact-finding exercise as to what actually happened. You know, so they are, they are looking into it, whether, what was the term, what, what was supposed to be the term of the tender, whether a tender, tender was to be floated at all or not, whether the tender, whether, whether are there any terms that the tender can be renewed after 2017 for a of time. So this is going no, to no. take some time. But we have to, you know, hold no, no, on. Tamanna, Tamanna, Tamanna. I think, okay, Tehseen coming in. Tehseen coming in. Okay, Tehseen coming. Yeah. Okay, Tehseen and then Manasvi. Let me just come to Tehseen first and then Manasvi. Yes, Tehseen. I'll just take, yeah, I'll just... I'll just, take, I'll just take one line and let Manasi take over. Uh, Namit is a fantastic lawyer. If I'm ever in trouble, I would want somebody like him to defend me because he can really turn this around. But here's the fact. Namit, at the end of the day, this wasn't even a contract that was signed. This wasn't a legal document. This is an MOU and MOU has no legal standing. Now, this it proves does. collusion more than everything else. Let's look at the pattern. Just 30 seconds. MOU There's an just MOU handshake. which basically... Just one second. Exactly, it has no legal standing. Now, A. B. Who's, who's responsible to investigate this massacre? And I use massacre very responsibility. IS and IPS are responding to the government. Three. When the courts take over, technical reasons are used for the officers not to come before the court. It was headlines in every single newspaper, English, Hindi, Marathi, Gujarati, that the officers have to be summoned. You cite procedure. Four, there is clearly no cooperation and the owner of the company is not named in the FIR. If this doesn't show collusion, Namit, what shows? Please tell me that, sir. The owner of the company may not be necessary to be named in all the FIRs. Company as such is an Why accused. Why not? 
And so while, a... again, the, while this headline gets buried everywhere, we need to talk about it. Because what has come out in the affidavit Absolutely. today, what has come out in court today, is damning. It's, it's damning to the whole process. Now, whatever the ground realities are, we hope it comes to the fore. And election doesn't mean someone gets away with murder. It's as simple as that. I'm going to have to wrap it here, but I want to thank all of you for joining us on the lead story this evening on Beyond the Headline. And we hope justice is truly done. I want to move on to a very special...